well hello there guys in today's video we'll be looking at how to save some battery on your redmi note 9 now this might also work on other redmi phones but still we have got the redmi note 9 here and i'm going to show you how to save some battery backup there are a couple of tricks that you need to apply in order to get the best battery backup that you can possibly get on the redmi note 9 now already the redmi note 9's battery backup is uh, really nice but still with the tricks that i show you you can just go ahead and do that and see it for yourself how much the battery life gets better right so yeah guys if you like these kind of videos give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to click on that subscribe button for more content the first one obviously in the settings if you go to settings here you'll find additional settings additional settings now here you'll find privacy from here you have to tap on privacy now there are some things that you need to do over here which are in special app access if you just tap on special app access here you can see battery optimization at the first itself so just tap on it now once you do that as you can see these apps are not optimized for battery purpose now there are some things that you need to do here so guys as you can see it shows me these are the apps which are not optimized now you can either just tap over here and optimize all the applications but still now you may have several applications because this mobile is new and i don't have many applications over here but still i would suggest you whatever application you are using like third party applications you just go ahead tap on that application for example this weather so just tap on optimize and say done this should give you more battery backup than you would imagine you just go ahead and try it for many applications like third party applications if you are not using that much or even if you are using just go ahead and tap on these apps such as this and then tap on optimize then done you can also like optimize all applications but still there are some system applications over here such as contacts and dialer or clock which need not be optimized because it has to be running in the background for proper functioning that is why i recommend you the apps that you don't use for example this get apps i don't use at all just go ahead and tap on optimize then tap on done this will save you a lot of battery make sure you do that and let me know in the comment section down below how much it has helped you all right so this was the first setting first trick that you need to apply now the second setting is inside this additional settings and if you go to privacy the same that i showed you earlier in the first tip same here if you go to privacy you will see that the user experience program as well as send diagnostic data automatically will be turned on on your mobile just like this it should show you blue so make sure you just switch off these two things okay now this is something that it always uses background applications to run because it needs to personalize advertisements for you and that's why you see a lot of ads that actually serves the purpose but still it's uh, like consuming a lot of battery so just make sure that you turn off these two uh, like user experience program as well as send diagnostic data automatically which is located in the privacy setting the third one is again over here which is ad services if you just go ahead and see by default it will be turned on and i would suggest you turn this thing off as well because as you can read here for the personalization of advertisements for you on the mobile it takes a lot of battery in the background which you will not know at all so that's the thing you need to switch off as soon as you like just uh, set up your phone for the first time itself so these three are really important make sure you turn them off okay the next setting is inside battery and performance so we'll just go ahead and inside the settings you'll find this battery and performance just tap on that this is the obvious thing you'll do like optimize battery and performance automatically but there are some things you need to do if you just tap on the settings over here here you'll find clear cache when device is locked this is the thing you need to like say in 10 or 5 minutes based on how you use your mobile phone so i would just go ahead and do that like in 10 minutes so when you lock the device automatically after 10 minutes the app's cache gets cleared this will save you space as well as some battery backup as well so it will give you some extra additional battery backup you can just go ahead do that and try it for yourself the next setting is about the battery saver app itself as you can see there is app battery saver if you just tap on this one you'll find a couple of things that you need to do like let's say i don't use this game app crazy juicer i just tap on this one and what i do is to restrict background activity and tap on ok so this is the thing you need to do for all the applications that you don't use often uh, let's say i don't use the google photos often I just tap on that and just tap on restrict background activity what it does is it avoids running in the background and consuming battery without you knowing at all now this thing saves lot and lot of battery like for example if i don't use the jilly app which is silly i just go ahead and uh, say restrict background activity 
and take back this is the thing you want to do to all the applications that you don't use often there is as well as if you just tap on this one if it will show you system apps as well so just tap on that like if you are not going to use calendar or calculator app more often or this bubble shooter with friends just go ahead do restrict background activity so this is the thing you want to do to all the applications that you don't use often so that's a little trick i hope this serves the purpose but if you do it and let me know in the comment section down below because a lot of uh, friends told me that it does save the battery a lot okay the next one is to schedule power on and off now this thing you have to do it because sometimes the mobile like if you keep it on all the time there are a lot of things that uh, turns out to be in the cache memory itself it won't clear at all that is why you just tap on this one like weekly once or twice you schedule power on and off for that you have to switch on the power on time and you tell the mobile to turn on at this time let's say five o'clock in the morning or even earlier you can keep that and power off the same day but at around four o'clock right so you can just keep that whatever time you want you can set let's say 4 30 and 4 30 the mobile gets turned off and at 5 it gets automatically turned on this is the thing you need to do here it repeats weekdays or let's say custom like you can keep only on thursdays or only on sundays so automatically the mobile gets turned off and on at these times so this is the thing you want to do let's say custom and only enable it to thursday make sure you do that properly yeah this is the thing you want to do and then tap on tick mark so this is the thing you want to set on your mobile phone which is very very helpful i hope this video helped you in saving some battery backup if yes give this video a thumbs up and make sure you do all the settings i showed in this video properly guys if you like these kind of videos give this video a thumbs up and i'll be doing more of these videos you can find other creative like tips and tricks videos on my channel as well and uh, that's it in this video i will see you all in another one until then take care everyone bye bye